Hey YouTube, we're again. We are out here in Congress, Georgia. We are in a four bedroom, two bath house. I haven't been in the basement yet, so I don't know if it's in if it's finished or not. But we're in Congress, Georgia. This house is going for four hundred thousand. Been on the market for a minute, so we probably can get it cheaper than four hundred thousand. Recording this for I think he in Chicago. I think he in Chicago. Chicago client. I see it got like a shingle or something missing up there at the top. I don't know if y'all can see it, but. Look like one shingle came off or something like that. It don't look like nothing serious though. But this is a four bedroom, two and a half, I think. Two and a half bath. Home 2420 20, square feet. 2420 square feet on two acres. Got a lot of yard. I don't know if it goes on the side right here. Had to get a survey. Because I know it's a lot of wooded area right here. But there's a lot of wooded area behind the house too. I'm gonna take you around. I'm gonna go around this way. It's a little easier to walk down this hill. I probably should do this last because I'm gonna be tired. I'm not gonna walk you around. I walk out the back door. Show the back to the back door. There's two big old hills I have to walk down. Got a security system out here too. The roof looked good outside that one missing shingle. I don't know how good you can see it on the camera though. I'm gonna FaceTime when I get finished with this where you can see it before the video. FaceTime and then send the video. I know he was really looking for a basement. Last house we looked at didn't have a basement. They came in here, you can see they did some rehab. And I know he can go FHA with this, which is the beautiful thing. I gotta keep remembering I'm on this, this thing so I can show you up. I am going as far as I can go up. Come back down. Then I ain't gotta make it go back down. Feel. <laughs> you got your dining room when you first walk in. Formal living room, sitting room, family room. Well, not your family room, but your, uh, what's it called? Office, if it had a door. No door, so technically not an office, but some people still call it an office. Somebody called it a study. <laughs> That's the first time I heard that. <laughs> I took somebody on a walk, and they was like, oh, that's the study. Okay, I like that. Coat closet. I might start calling it a study for now. Oh. So they redid the carpet. They paint it. Got your half a bath right here. That's your basement. I think it's finished because, like I said, you see the carpet when you're going down there, and then it's new carpet. So I'm thinking it's finished. Haven't been down there yet. But you got your family room. Your living room. Why they put it over here? So they had the TV mount over here instead of over the fireplace. That ain't weird. Yeah, this is exactly what they had TV mount. They got all the wires and stuff. But how would you do the furniture? I don't know. That would seem a little weird. You think you just put the TV over the fireplace? I don't know. It's big enough. You add a little space over there. I mean, a nice size TV over there. You gonna walk out here? It got double deck. I really like the double deck, but hey, somebody told me it was tacky. That's why I usually, when you hear me talking about stuff, I always say I like or my preference. Because I be liking it, but some people who watch the video be like, nah, that ain't it. So I don't be trying to sell it. It's just, uh, I like that. I like the double deck look. I had one lady in my comments told me the double deck look looked tacky. It's like, oh, okay. I never knew. Most part of that thing look good. That gutter need to be fixed. That's small things. Gutter need to be fixed. This is what I mean by it. it's on two acres. I don't know if the two acres on the side or straight back. But if it's straight back, you it go all the way back on two acres. I mean all that wood area belong here. And it don't look wet. So if you wanted to knock the trees down and build, you could. Let's go back in here. You got your keeping room, your breakfast nook, as they call it up north. Your breakfast area is what I used to call it before they told me it was a keeping room. Oh, I like that. Shout out to the listing agent. She probably just gave me a new idea. Record the video for one of my listings and put the QR code so everybody come in can just see my, my YouTube video of the house. I like that. I like shout out to the listing agent. I like that. Kitchen, they new appliances. 
the stove new, the range as they call it, <laughs> the microwave new. The sink, yeah, sink look good, but I don't think it's new. Dishwasher new, no refrigerator. And the laundry room is huge. Good God. This is a really large laundry room. <laughs> Come to a two car garage. They redid the floor in here. Oh, when I came in here, I didn't see this. What's this? Hot water heater. Now I got a basement, so hot water heater wouldn't be up here. Light don't work. Oh, this is like a storage closet. Put your brooms and all your little equipment and stuff right there. Your outside equipment, I guess. Yeah, just storage closet. I wonder if they want this clothes on the clothes the back. Got a basement, so I'm guessing I have water heater and stuff in the basement. This is a really big laundry room. Well, that 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 takes away from the negative. I know a lot of people don't like the laundry room in the kitchen, but because the laundry room is so big, it should never really ever be an issue. Because it's so big. What's this pantry? Did I open this? I don't think I did. Pantry. I need to get one of these. I like that. I don't know why I can't keep no snacks. My son run through them snacks so fast. Really don't need one. I just add more snacks for him to eat. Knock that back. I don't want no problems. Yeah, they painted carpet. New, new fixtures. So that's new. They did some renovation. I think it's the master right here. Yeah, we're gonna go that last. Got the little grandma's attic thing, which I don't understand still. You see it in a lot of houses, I just don't get it. Nice size bedroom. Really nice size bedroom. I'm gonna go over here, we're gonna swing the camera. Oh, it swung itself. <laughs> I ain't even have to do nothing. Let's see what the closet look like. That's how it's closet. Bedroom number two. My size bedroom. You can fit a king in here, but it'll, it'll take up a lot of space. You shoot it this way, coming straight back, but you're going to block both your windows. You can shoot it that way too, but ain't going to leave too much space over here. So you can fit a king in here, it just it take up a lot of space. I wouldn't recommend putting no king in here. Nice size closet. Nice size to me. I gotta make sure I preface it for people be like, that's not a nice size. If a dresser can fit in there, it's a nice size closet for me. That's that's how I look at it. It's a nice size closet if I can put my dresser in the closet. I know some people look at it a little differently. You know, one told me that ain't no nice size closet. That's a small closet. As long as I can get a dress in there, decent to me. Oh, cleaning closet. Cool bath. Bath looks good. I changed out the shower here. He put a little string for the attic. You can get up in now. You're vertically challenged. You ain't gonna be able to get in now. Really big room. This kind of got the same layout as the, the first house I tried to buy for my mama. And you end up selling it before we could get it. Kind of got like almost the exact same layout. <laughs> Who'd you put in these little corners? Dude told me it's a lookout. <laughs> you can put a little desk over here. Same with this one. Put a little desk. Small bed in the middle. Small bed right there. Or one big bed. Because you can fit a king in here without a problem. It wouldn't take up no, no space. That's bedroom number three. Then we're going to take your primary, your executive suite, your main bedroom. I don't know. Whatever y'all want to call it nowadays. Whatever floats your boat. 
really large bedroom. Well, nice size bedroom. Because you fit a king in here against any wall and then not take up space. So it's, it's, a, it's a really nice bedroom. For the most part, you don't see nothing on the ceilings. House nice for all in all. Need to update the bathroom, the cabinets and stuff like that. But that, that ain't a, a must have off the muscle. That's a really hot tub not to have a step. It's a really hot tub. Shower. Ooh, okay. Leave that alone. That need to be fixed. I'm not gonna break it. I changed that out. But for the most part, shower look good. The door stuck. Might not be stuck. Might just be me scared to break it. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? You get the house, let the inspector check it. And he'll let you know if it's stuck or broke. If he break it, it's on him. I don't want to break it. And they be hitting me up on some foolishness. Nice size closet. They got the little attic access right there. I'm not going to do it, boss. I ain't finna tell him that. I get enough phone calls from listening to agents about crazy stuff. The, the new thing they done hit me with is the key. Usually if somebody pull up before I'm from the recorder, I just hand them the key. They ain't gonna unlock the box. But man, they call me talking about some, you took my key. And I ain't take the key. The person I let, I gave the box to, I mean the key to. When I left, I just locked the box, gave them the key. They kept the key and blamed it on me. Well, they ain't blaming it on me. Listen, agent blaming it on me, cop last one in there. So now I gotta make sure I put the key in there. Can't just hand it to nobody. Down here in the basement. I get fussed at a lot, y'all. Oh, it's the storage closet. Yeah, utility closet. A light switch. I need to put a light switch in. Can't see nothing. But well, you can see from outside, I guess. It's just your furnace. Hey, how water heater. Let's see. Oh, it is finished. Okay. Nice. Nice carpet. I don't know what it'll be. A living room. I'm not really sure. Y'all who real decorative have to tell me about that. They got a hot water heater. Why are they separate it? That don't make sense. This wall don't do nothing to separate the hot water heater from the furnace. What's the purpose of the wall? Oh, they got to get a floor pan for that, though. That's something FHA going to make them do. They got to get a floor pan. So we do know that. They got the expansion tank. Had to get the floor pan. I don't get the purpose of the wall. I don't get that. But we're shut off the valve. I say stop touching stuff. I'm always touching stuff. <laughs> That's a good way to hide it. Ooh, I don't know how to close it back. <laughs> hmm, they can make this into a room. They put a door on here. What this is? This closet. They can make it a closet. What? Turn this into a closet? Put a door right here? Got bedroom number five. Okay, bedroom number five, a little living room. Got to imagine a little living room right there. I don't know what to do right here. Y'all have to tell me. I don't know about this part. Oh, man, put your little laundry room in here. Put a little laundry room in this room. I guess you turn that little in right there into a kitchen. Turn it right here into a little kitchen. Little kitchen right here. Little living room right here. That room right there just be extra sitting space. Turn that room into a laundry room. And turn this into a bedroom. You got one bedroom apartment downstairs. And it won't cost you that much to do it. The only thing I see that he'll have to do, like the person I'm recording this for, he has to get the floor paint. He, I mean, like, he wouldn't have to do, but... In order to get the house, it's the floor pan. And that shingle on the roof. I have to get them to go up there and see just how bad that one shingle missing is. It's one shingle, so it shouldn't be no issue, but you would rather check it. Check it now than to find out later. 
But like I say in every video, like, subscribe, share, comment. Tell me what you think. If you like the house, what would you do different if you don't like the house? Why you don't like it? Stop telling me you don't like the house and tell me why you don't like the house. <laughs> that way we can get a better understanding of what you do like. Because like I said, the goal is to try to turn y'all into clients. If I don't know what you like, I can't do that. So tell me what you do like. Don't tell me what you don't like. I mean, if you tell me what you don't like, explain it, basically. But until next time, YouTube, we out of here.